Morning, everybody. Today we're looking at a citron. The reason we're going to look at the citron is because you're going to come with me on this little journey of discovery to see how bad this is. So this is where I'm going to give you the backstory. So this engine Well, this story starts with oil. So this engine customer this has got uh, 54,000 miles on it. Customer came to me um, two weeks ago. It was going into limp mode, going around corners, uh, lights on the dash coming on, just generally very unhappy. There were fault codes, just codes. The light wasn't on, but there were codes for oil pressure low, oil pressure, um, plausibility, all sorts of things. There was no oil on the dipstick. Um, I put two litres of oil in it, gave up, and then ordered an oil and filter for it. And basically did a service on it, sent him on his way. It came back uh, to have brakes done on the back, needs pads and discs. And so if we take a look at the dipstick now, nice and clean. And it's only done 500 miles since it left here. Holds about seven litres of engine oil. <clears throat> so it's done 500 miles. Oil's gone off the end of the dipstick again. Now, I ordered this last night, but it didn't turn up. We are going to discover what happens once we pour this one litre of engine oil in. And uh, how much oil, you can see how much oil this engine has drunk in 500 miles. Now, I already know what's going on. I've checked underneath, there's no leaks. Um, well, I say no leaks. If I'm being entirely honest, it is slightly damp a little way around the sump plug, but that's not anywhere near enough to cause that problem. Um, I have I'm going to get a large funnel so I don't spill that on the trumpet. Uh, so as I was saying, yeah, it's actually going into the turbo. It's the oil seals in the turbo. I pulled the bottom hose off. Um, the intercooler isn't full, but it is definitely oily. We need all the help we can get. Um, yeah, and then started it and revved the vehicle. Um, just revved it up. And I've still got it. So from starting the vehicle and just revving it up with that in front of the turbo outlet, you can clearly see we've got a lot of oil and I did wipe the pipe out as well to help it. So that is one litre of engine oil added to our engine. The question is, are we back on the stick? We're not on the order of another five. Because if we're not touching the stick, I think the difference between minimum and maximum is over a litre. So I think that stick's about two. Oh, there we go. So we are still 
Well, maybe another two liters shy. Well, at least I now know it's on the stick so I can start it and move it. But we are still below minimum. And we are going to have to order more oil. I only want to know how much oil it's lost so that I can gauge on roughly how fast it's using it. Uh, but that I would say it's probably drank three litres of engine oil in 500 miles. That's not good. Um, this needs a turbo on it badly. Uh, I'm surprised actually that the DPF isn't blocked or that the AdBlue system hasn't thrown an error, but there's nothing in any of those systems. It's, it's perfectly fine. So it's quite surprising that it's allowing the engine to burn that oil and it's almost burning it clean enough to say it's not a problem but yeah this is a 2019 so this is why it's important to check your oil just because you've got a newer vehicle this is 2019 and just because it's newer doesn't mean it's going to tell you it's out of oil this one didn't watch out check your oil people thanks for watching